Hello, welcome back for some more Super Mega Baseball 4. Today we have game 44 with the Neon on the road, 29 and 14 record. Taking on the Spider Bears, who are 13 and 29, currently hold the worst record in the league. Uh, these two teams have already met twice previously, and Neon won both games by a combined score of 22 to 8. So they're looking to do a little bit more of the same today as they get closer and closer to winning their division title. They currently have a three game lead over the Underworld. So a win here and a loss by the Underworld pretty much guarantees they have the title. Because there will only be, th what, three games left after this. But they do have a game against the Underworld, so... Worst case, that very final game is against the Underworld, so that could decide who the champion is going to be. But first we got this game here. Uh, Mr. Escar Go is going to be pitching. He's 4-3 and three with a 3-3-2 ERA. Going against Dallas Pickles, who was 2 and 1 with a 4.83 ERA. Let's get to the lineups. Offside, she had a really good game last time, hit her first home run. So I think we might give her some more playing time. But Barajas is going to get back on first where he belongs. Roach is coming out, Phillips is coming back in. Dapper, we're probably going to leave him there. I'd like to play Shipwreck some more, but her hitting troubles as of late are just. Going to leave her on the bench. Overly's coming out. Sloan, the hero of last game, is coming back into his position. Reed's fine. Hogwarts fine. Ricci, don't want to leave you in. Because Arnold's been kind of playing good lately, too. Hmm. Ribeye's coming out. We know that offside could play there. Because I really have no way else to play second base. I don't think. Yeah. Shortstop and... Yeah, shortstop and second base, the only two we don't have backups for. I guess we'll leave Ricci in for now. We might swap him in later. Who knows? Let's get to the game. So offside is the only one that has chemistry bonus and playing out of position. And the Spider Bear side, their center fielder and their catcher both have good morale. And the second baseman and first baseman have negative morale. With them being the worst team in the league, you think the team would have more negative morale than they do. Who knows? Baseball fans, welcome to Colonial They're just trying to play, play spoiler this time around. Because they were eliminated a long time ago. So they exchange lineup cards. And Spider Bears take the field. Brahas, Phillips, and Dapper are going to be leading off. Braz, Braha steps into the batter's box for the first time. Bang 308, 4 homers, 12 RBIs. He's been in a bit of a funk as of late. And he'll take the first pitch down low for a strike. Fouls the next one off into the seats. 0-2. Oh, Another foul. Takes up high for a ball. It's the inside pitch to center field, but center fielder will have it. He's out number one. And in comes Phillips, a 261. Four home runs, 15 RBIs. Foul's first pitch foul. Outside for ball one. Hits this little looper to left. This may drop. No, oh, sliding catch from Locos out and left. Good play. Two down. Here's Dapper batting 364. Four homers and 21 RBIs. Take a ball outside. Grounds this one up the middle. That'll reach center field. So a two-out single for Dapper. And here's Sloan, the hero of last game. That pinch hit two-run shot. He knocked out of the park. Puts him over 20 RBIs. He's the third player on the team to do it. And he loops one to left. This is going to drop foul. Nobody can get a hold of that. And he'll ground a second with this one. That'll be out number three. So base hit. Runner left at first. Bottom of the first come up. And still no score. And Silas Rangel steps up to the first time. at 270. Five homers. 14 RBIs. And first pitch from Escargo. Taken for a strike down low. This one's hit foul to the right side. Barajas gets chase. He'll have room. And he'll glove it for out number one. 
May stepping in, batting 255, two homers, 14 RBIs. Takes the high inside changeup for a strike. Chased the fastball, missed it. Strike two. This one's sit to center, I mean, right center, left center. This will be a double. Sloan fires it back in. Just got over the head of the jumping shortstop. In comes Stokes, batting 228. He's got the six homers and 17 RBIs. As Escargo's first pitch is in the dirt, and he's chased it. Strike one. Changeup misses inside. Couldn't catch the fastball up high. One and two. Chased the slider outside the zone. Strike three. A little impatient up there. And he don't take it. That's out number two. Here's Lloyd. And 242. Four homers at 19 RBIs. He'll take the inside fastball for a strike. Hits this one on the ground to offside. Second. Over to first. That was out number three. So both teams pick up a hit in the first frame. Still no score, though. Top of the second coming up. Here's Reed batting 324. Eight homers, 26 RBIs. It's been a hot little stretch here lately. Kick inside for a ball. Inside again, had to move out of the way. Out in front of that one, strike one. He'll loop this one into center. This will drop. So leadoff single for Reed. Alguash steps in. He homered last game as well. He's batting 319. Three homers now. 16 RBIs. Swings at this one and misses it. Takes outside. Ball one. Fouled it back. One and two. It's this one deep to left. This should be caught. Caught on the warning track. Reed retreats back to first. Give it a ride, but just couldn't get enough of it. Here's Ricci, batting 287. Two homers and 18 RBIs. This one will drop out in right field. So runner first and second with one out. Yeah, I got something cooking here. He's offside. Hit her first home run last game. Batting 208. It's because of the last game. That's why she's playing this one. She had a good game last game. See if she can drive a run in. First pitch taken low. Could catch that one. Strike one. Strike on the outside corner. Couldn't catch that either. Just blazed that fastball right by her. That's out number two. So here's the pitcher. Batting 174. He's driven in one. Fouls first pitch back. Taken high for a ball. That on the outside corner, strike two. Pops it up. Who's going to get it? Shortstop's going to get it. And here's out number three. So now I pick up two hits, but they leave them both on base. Bottom of the second coming up, still no score. Israel Richard steps in, and 262. No homers, eight RBIs. Takes the fastball low for a strike. Takes the curve in the same position. Strike two. Chase the high inside fastball. There's strike three. So one away. There's Tobin Locos. Made that good play out left earlier. Batting 167. No homers, but driven in four. He'll take a pitch high and in for a strike. Fouls this one off. Is in the hole 0 and 2. Let's that one go down low. That one's way high. So 2 and 2. Couldn't catch the heater. So strike 3. 2 down. There's Bryson Linguino. And 223. 2 homers and 10 RBIs. Curve just missed low. Changeup up high, missed. Fastball misses, 3-0 count now. 
curve catches the low outside corner. Strike one. And the changeup misses again. There's a walk. So runner at first with two outs. Here's Christina Patton getting 071. Swings to the first pitch and misses the slider. She couldn't catch that slider either. 0 and 2. Caught the fastball. Hits it to right field. But Reed's got a beat on it. He'll glove it for out number three. So, no hits. But they did leave a runner on base for the walk. Still no score. Top of the third. And back to the top of the order for the Neon. Here's Barajas. He's 0 for 1. He swings and misses the first pitch. Swings over the second one. Swings and misses all three pitches. Way impatient there. So one away, and here's Phillips. He's 0 for 1. Takes outside for a ball. Taking low, ball 2. Outside, ball 3. Had the green light, chased one. Fouled again. It's now full count. Couldn't catch it. Swung early. Struck out. So two down. Our sound dapper. Did single this first time. Looks like a ball inside. Good contact. I don't think he got enough. He might. Back, back, back. Off the wall. So Depper will have a stand up double. Just missed a homer by a few feet. So here's Sloan with a chance to drive in a run. Base hit, maybe enough to do it. He's 0 for 1. He'll do it. This will find the wall in left center. Sloan rounds first. Depper crosses the plate. So another stand up double. Back to back doubles. Neon take the lead, 1-0. Here's Reed, who also has a single. See if he can keep the revolving door going. Nope, he'll ground a short. Richards fires the first, there's out number three. But the Neon pick up two more hits, and one of them comes around to score, so they now lead 1-0, going to the bottom of the third. Here's the pitcher, batting 308. Doesn't be too pleased about giving up that one run. Fastball misses low. Change up, up high. That's in. Strike one. Inside fastball. One and two count. This is grounded to first. Barajas gloves it. Takes it to the bag himself. It's out number one. Back to the top of their order. There's Rangel. He's 0 for 1. Slider high outside zone. This one's grounded to second. Offside tosses the first. There's out number two. There's May who doubled his first time up. Swings at the first pitch. It's right at Hogwash. It's short. And there's the throw to first, and that'll complete the third out. So nothing for the Spider Bears. They now trail one to nothing going to the bottom of the fourth. There's Hogwash who's 0 for 1. Take a strike lower outside corner. Swings over this one. Strike two. Pops it up on the infield. Second baseman comes in. And they'll glove it for out number one. That'll bring Ricci to the plate. Singled his first time up. Outside for a ball. Fouls this one away. One and one. Just caught the high outside corner. There's strike two. Weak grounder to second. Stokes has another play. He's out number two. He brings offside up to the plate. He's 0 for 1. Swinging his hat and misses it. Grounder to the pitcher who stops it. Able to collect it. Throw to first for out number three. So Neon go three up, three down. Bottom of the fourth coming up. They still lead one to nothing. And here comes Stokes. He's 0 for 1. 
He'll take low for a strike. That was the second pitch off. He's in the hole. Couldn't catch the inside changeup. Strike three. So one away. Stoy steps back up to the plate. He's 0 for 1. Fouls first pitch off to the right out of play. Couldn't catch the high changeup. Fooled him with that one. Strike three. He's looking for something else. So two down. And Richard steps back in 0 for 1. Takes the high inside fastball for a strike. Curve misses low. Fouls this to the right out of play. Another foul. Hits this one to deep center, but Sloan only has to move a few feet. And he'll glove it for out number three. So nothing for the Spider Bears. They still trail one to nothing going in top of the fifth. And bottom of the order is Escargo. He's 0 for 1. Swings at it and misses it. Tucks up high for a ball. Grounder to second. Stokes has another play. There's out number one. So back to the top of the order. Here's Barajas. He's 0 for 2. Takes high for a ball. Fouls this one back. One and one. Another foul. He just can't get his timing down this game. Grounds this one up the middle. Second baseman lays out and stops it, but it won't be in time. Barajas will be safe at first with an infield single. Here's Phillips, who's 0 for 2. One out, runner at first. Strike on the outside corner. Up high, ball one. Ball two outside. Fouls us back, two and two count. Swung over it and missed it, strike three. So two down. That brings Dapper to the plate, who singled and doubled. See if he can get another hit. The double would score a run. He swings at the first pitch and misses it. Just got in front of that one, strike two. Late on that one, strike three. So nothing for the Neon. They got a hit. Left on base, though. Bottom of the fifth coming up. Still one to nothing score for the Neon. And here's Locos, he's 0 for 1. And you know, Barajas will lay out and stop this one. Good play for Barajas there. As they ground out on the first pitch. So one away, here's Lenguino. He walked his first time. He hits this one to right. We will be there for out number two. So two out. Two outs quick, quickly here. And there's Patton who's 0 for 1. And this one will find the outfield. So a two out single. Sloan fires it back in. This will bring the pitcher up to the plate. He's 0 for 1. And they're going to pinch it for him. He's coming out. Caden Esparza is coming in. Batting 231 with a homer and six ribbies. Swings at the first pitch. Hogwash lays out to get it. Throw to first. Not in time. Just outran it. So infield single. Runner at first and second. Two outs. There's Rangel back to the top of the order. It's 0 for 2. Fouls first pitch off. Fouls this one off. 0 and 2. Another foul. Just got a piece. Chase that one high and out of the zone. Strike three. That'll end the inning. So Sparza's getting taken out. And they're going to bring in Linfield Tamayo. He's going to pitch now. 5-0-8 ERA. So Spider Bears left two men on base that time. They still trail one to nothing. Top of the six. Here's Sloan, who doubled and driven in the only run so far. He chased a bad pitch there. Strike one. 
Grounder to the right. This will be foul. 0 oh, and 2 count. Ooh, nasty curve. That was in there for a strike. Sloan could just do no, nothing but watch it. So one away. Here's Reed. He's one for two. Grounder to the third. Patton throws over. There's out number two. Hogwa steps in over two so far today. Grounds it to the pitcher. Smile picks it up. Throws to first. Quick one, two, three. Bottom of the six coming up. You are still up by one nothing, one run. And here's May. He doubled his, his first time up. He doubled. And he'll get a single here as he fires this in the center. So Spider Bear's wasting no time jumping on the first pitch. So no outs. Runner at first. Stokes is 0 for 2 on the day. He'll take outside for a ball. Fouls the changeup off. This one's hit the first, but it'll get past Barajas into right. So, another single. Runner first and second now with nobody out. Spider Bears have something brewing. There's Lloyd, he's 0 for 2. And he was waiting on that one. This will find the wall. That'll drive in at least one run. And that's all they'll drive in. So there's a double. That ties the game up. Runner at second and third now. As they seem to figure it out. Escargo. This one's fouled away. He was looking for that pitch too. This was popped up on the left side. Dapper gives chase. He'll glove it for out number one. Not deep enough to score a run. Here's Locos, who's 0 for 2. Takes low for a ball. This one's fouled off. Fouled away again. 1 and 2. Curve misses low. Another foul. Hit to the right side. Barajas may have a play. Dives laid out. Just couldn't reach it. So we'll do this again. Grounder to second. Only play she'll have is first. So there's the out. But another run will cross. So it's now 2-1 to one. Spider Bears. So they take the lead. There's Linguino. Fire one left foul. Takes outside for a ball. And this one's hit the center. Sloan will have a play out here. And that'll end the inning. But the Spider Bears push two across. They now take the lead. It's two to one going on top of the seventh. Now he's reaching. He's got one of the hits. It's one for two. And as he takes a strike down low. Outside for ball. Hits it to third. Patton lays out. Throw to first. Ricci is too slow to outrun that. So one away. That brings offside back to the plate. He's 0 for 2. Check swing. Take it for a ball. Chase that inside pitch. Missed it. Takes that one inside for a ball. Outside, swung and missed it. Two and two. That catches the corner. Strike three. There's the pitcher, but his day is done. So I'm going to bring Arnold in to pitch it. And she takes a pie for a ball. Couldn't catch that high fastball. Strike one. Pops this one up the center. This will be out number three. Pork Matthews will come in to pitch. Bottom of the seventh now coming up. Spider Bears are up two to one. It's not how the Neon wanted this game to go. They expect an easier matchup than this. But that's why you play the games. Any team can win on any given day. That's quickly an 0 and 2 count. Chase the high fastball. There's strike three. Three pitches and one out. 
Gotta bring their pitcher up. He has yet to get a hit. He takes the first pitch for a strike. Fouls the second one off. Takes high. That one's high. Pitches the lower inside corner. There's strike three. So back to top of their order. Rangel's 0 for 3. Change up. Pitches the corner. Strike one. Fouled back. Looked for this one. But Reed will, should ha have a play, and he does. Out number three. Three up, three down for the Spider Bears. Top of the eighth coming up. Bears still lead two to one. And back to the top of the neon order. Barajas is one for three. Takes this one in the dirt. Ball two also in the dirt. That's down the middle for a strike. Outside, ball three. Check swing, but it's in there. Strike two, full count. That catches the inside corner for a strike. So one away. There's Phillips, who's 0 for 3. His morale is dropping, so we're going to go ahead and take him out. Let Roach take over. As he fouls first pitch back. Chase a bad pitch there. Strike two. Fouled another one off. Pops this up behind the plate. Catcher should have a play, and there's out number two. So Depper steps back in. He's two for three. He'd like to keep the inning going. He takes inside for a strike. And this will hit the second. Stokes lays out, gets up, and throws the first in time. So nothing for the neon. Running out of time. Bottom of the eighth. Two to one lead for the Spider Bears. And here's May, who's singled and doubled. This was down low for a ball. Hit deep to left. This is going to find the wall. Dapper gets it back in, but that's going to be a stand up double. Well, he did slide, so it's a double. So leadoff double. There's Stokes. It's one for three. Takes a strike in the outside corner. Fouls this one back. Couldn't catch the high heater. Strike three, so one away. Up steps Lloyd, who doubled and driven in one of the runs. Takes inside for a strike. Couldn't catch that fastball. Strike two. Held up on that one. Held up on another close one. Two and two. Change up inside. Fooled him with it. Strike three. So after a leadoff double, Matthews has come back. To get two outs. Runner still at second. This is the first pitch here for a strike. He just misses inside. And this is outside. Check swing, but that's in there. Strike through. I mean, two. Chase the inside slider. That wasn't even close. Strike three. So, top of the ninth. It's up to Neon. Got to get a run here. And Sloan has driven in the only Neon run. They're keeping this pitcher in. Yeah, as he throws in the dirt for the first ball. Ball two. Low. Couldn't catch the fastball. Strike one. Out in front of the changeup. Strike two. Little looper to center. This will be caught for out number one. And up steps Reed. He's one for three. Takes a ball outside. Couldn't catch that heater. Did catch this one. This is going to leave the yard and tie the game. Home run to left for Reed. Has he got all of that one? 
A bit of a moonshot, 385 feet to left field. His ninth homer of the year. And we got a brand new game. It's all tied up at two. There's Hogwash, he's 0 for 3. And he hits one on the left, but this will be caught. There's out number two. Ricci steps in, he's 1 for 3. Fouls first pitch back. Out in front of that one. 0 and 2. That was a nasty swing. Caught the corner again. Strike three. This pitcher's done a good job with the corner painting. But the Neon tied the game up. That home run in the top of the ninth. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Still all tied up. Two apiece. And each team has seven hits. So here's Locos who's 0 for 3. But he has driven in one of their runs. And he fouls first pitch off. Inside. Strike two. Matthews doing some corner painting of his own. This one's fouled off. And another foul. And yet another foul. Taken high. Ball one. And another foul. It's this one to center, but Sloan should have a play and gloves it before it hits the ground. Out number one. Then Guino steps in. He's 0 for 2. His morale starting to drop. As he grounds this one on the first pitch. Offside. Toss the first. Out number two. Patton is 1 for 3. She comes up with two outs. I think they're going to take her out. Yves. 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 I think they said Yves. Splits is going to come pitch it. Dang, 333. Takes a strike on the outside corner. Held up on that one. One and one. A looper to right. Foul territory. That'll drop. So one and two. Chase the outside slider. Strike three. So it's free baseball for everybody. Top of the tenth. Game still tied at two. Offside comes up to the plate. She's over three. Linguino is now playing third and splits is over at first. First pitch is taken for a strike. She chased that one. Inside strike two. Out in front of that one. Fooled him. Strike three. That brings Port Matthews. Normally they bring a pinch hitter in right now. But we don't know how long this game is going to go. Swings to the first pitch. Swings to the second pitch. Not even close to either one of them. Fouls us back. He singles up the middle. So Port Matthews with a hit. So one out, runner at first. Go ahead, runs over at first. Nick Rajas is one for four. His morale is dropping a lot. What can we bring over there at first? Overly can play. Yeah, we'll put Overly over there. We don't need morale drop any further than it already has over there. As Overly takes high for a ball. Down low for a ball two. Pitches that outside corner. He's good at hitting that one. This one's fouled back. Two and two. Another foul. Down low. Full count. Fouled away again. And another foul. Making him earn this out. Out in front of that one. Strike three. So two down. Here's Roach. 0 for 1. Grounder to second. That'll end the inning. So they pick up a hit. They'll leave him stranded. Bottom of the 10th coming up. Two apiece. And there's their pitcher. They're going to keep him in, too. As he takes a strike down low. Swings at this one and misses it. Hits this. Their pitcher gets a hit now. Sloan fires it back in. Hold him to a single. So the relief pitchers are coming up with the bats. 
Nobody out. Runner at first. Back top of their order. Here's Rangel, who's 04. We'll take low. Hit and run. That was surprising. Popped up on the infield. Hogwash will have a play here. And there's out number one. May comes up. Three for four. He's been their big hitter in the game. They take a strike on the outside corner. Watches that one go by outside. This is that one inside. Still in base. Again, hit and run play. That was fouled off. Two and two. This one sit to right. Reed couldn't stop it. That drops for a hit. So runner first and second. Oh, well, Stokes is so mad. He's got one hit. They're still in the game. He's got a chance to win it right here with a hit. He's in there for a strike, and we're going to take Matthews out. His stamina is completely gone. Let's bring Dunk in. That was down there for strike two. Swing and a miss, strike three, two away. And Lloyd steps in, he's got a double, driven in one of the runs. Now there's two outs. Taken inside for a strike. Chased it low, strike two. Chased that in the dirt. Toss the first, that'll complete the out. So Dunk comes in and shuts him down. Top of the 11th coming up, still two apiece. And middle of the order is coming in. Dapper's coming up, two for four. Kind of surprised they're keeping that pitcher in. But first pitch for a ball. Up and in for a strike. Chase that one, strike two. Fouled away. Weak grounder to first. Left step on the bag, and there's out number one. That brings Sloan back up. His only hit drove in the first run. As he fouls first pitch off. Outside for a ball. Head of that one, foul it to the right. Grounder to second. Well, shortstop grabs it. Throw to first. There's out number two. And here's Reed who tied the home game up with that homer in the top of the ninth. He fouls this back. Take a low for a ball. Low again. Ball two. We'll fire this one up the middle. Shortstop lays out and grabs it. Throw to first in time. So nothing for the neon. Bottom of the 11th coming up. Still tied at two. There's Richards who's 0 for 4. Foul's first pitch off. It's this one. This will land in center. So another leadoff hit for the Spider Bears. So when he ran at first, there's Locos is 0 for 4. Curve is in for a strike. This one just misses. Couldn't catch the fastball. Strike two. Grounder to small well, liner to second. If offside could have done that again, she would have let that hit the ground first. Instead, that's just a one out. There's Linguino, who's 0 for 3. Takes it outside corner for a strike. Hits this to the left. Dapper gives chase, but this will drop. So it's two outs now. Fastball in there. Strike three. All you can do is watch it go by. So two down. It's here splits. It's 0 for 1. 
kicks outside for a ball. Inside fastball tapped up behind the plate. Catcher just has to get up, look at it, and catch it. That'll end the inning. Top of the 12th coming up. Still tied at two. With this being 12 innings, this may be the longest game of the year. I know we've had a couple of... Hogwash gets a hit right down the center. This is out of here. Back-to-back -back games, home runs for Hogwash. And he puts the Neon in the lead with a 394 shot to right. His fourth. And that brings Ricci up as the closer starts getting warming up in the bullpen. Outside for a ball. This is foul to the left. In the dirt, ball two. Down low, ball three. Missed it. That was down the middle. This could be the last hitter this pitcher faces. Chased it outside the zone. Strike three. That was a ball. She was offside. She's 0 for 4, and I was correct. Pitcher's gone. Case and Porchetto's coming in. 675 ERA. But Tamayo did a good job. Offside swings at the first pitch and misses it, but she fires the second one in the left. There's a single. So one out, runner first. Boston's up at the plate, but he's coming out of the game for a pinch hitter. Uh, we're going to bring Shipwreck in, see if she can do something on the bench. Grounds it to second, short I should say, over to second, over to first, double play. So Kaylee's still in her funk. That'll end the inning. Now the Hannah's coming in. He's got a 3-2 lead. See if he can seal the deal here. He's going to face the, their pitcher, who's coming out. Over at Reese is going to pitch it at 261 with five homers. And first pitch from Hannah. Foul to the left side. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Fastball just missed high. Fouled away. Chased it up high. Strike three, one away. That's Rangel, who's 0 for 5. And he'll take a strike up high. Fouls this away in the hole, 0 and 2. Held up on that one. Takes that one inside. Another foul. Popped up behind the plate. This will hit the fencing. Out in front of that one. Strike three. Spider Bears down to their last out. And it's up to May, who's got four hits today. It's been all the offense for the most part it's for the Spider Bears. He fouls this one back. Fouled away again. He's in the hole only two, and they're down to their last strike. He expected a fastball, but didn't like that one. And this one's high. Fouled away again. Just watches that go in. Strike three. That ends the game. Neon pull it out in extra innings. That was a game. Spider Bears tried to play spoiler, but just couldn't do it. 3-2 final. Both teams got ten hits. Looking at the Neon, uh, we're going to give it to Reed, obviously. Two for five. That one home run of his, that was the game winner. And looking at the Spider Bears, easily he's going to be May, four for six. Didn't drive in any runs, though, but definitely supported the offense on his own there. Lawson's going to pick up the win, one and two-thirds inning. He's gave up one hit, struck out three. That's his fifth win. He's now got a .29 ERA. And Hannah picks up another save, going in inning, striking out all three he faced. That's his 20th save, .43 ERA. So again, the, the Lawson-Hannah combo is unstoppable right now. 
Spider Bears, Tomeo picks up the loss. That was a hard earned loss there. Looks like in the third innings. Three hits, gave up two runs, struck out seven, gave up two homers. That's his third loss. He's now one and three on the year. May is the number one star, four for six, two doubles and a run scored. Tamayo picks up the loss, but got the second star. Well, six in the third, gave up three hits, two runs, struck out seven. And Pickles got the third star, five innings, six hits, an earned run, and struck out five. So no Neon with the top three stars at all in this game. That's the first time that's happened, and they still win. So with that win, that almost guarantees the division title. Depends on what the Underworld do. They're three games back. There's three games left now. There's 20 games to simulate. And I don't see any Underworld. Well, there's an Underworld game. They're playing the Machos. So we'll see what happens. If they lose, it should be a division title for the Neon. Let's get to it. Freedom and the Fantastics. Fantastics come back, but they lose it late in the game, 12-7. Sewer Sneaks and Bolters. Bolters should take an early lead. They can pile on a few more. They win that one easily. Tundras score early. Hang on to win 3-2. to two. Philosophers and Ancients. Ancients take a lead, but they lose it. Can't come back. 7-5 to five loss. Grays and Champs. Champs win easily 7-1. to one. Bottlenoses and Serpents. Close game. Extra innings. Bottlenoses pull it out 3-2. to two. Underworld and Champ. Uh, Machos. Machos win it. That should secure the title. Guardians and Craniums. Guardians win this one 9 to 6. Elephants and Spider Bears. Spider Bears coming off that heartbreaking loss. They lose easily there 10 to 3. The Advocates and the Bandits. This is a close game. That was a good division. I mean, determine the title there. Freedom is poured on the lucky breaks. I don't know what happened there. 17 0. Advocates win 4 1 easily there. Energetics and Gobblers. Another close game to the Gobblers. So piling them on late in the game. Win that one. Spots and favorites. Favorites hang on to win a one game, one run game there. Razzles and Machos. Machos win again. Extra innings. War Wagons and Sewer Sneaks. Sewer Sneaks had the lead. Lose it. Come fighting back. Lose it. Nine to eight. Bottle Noses and Champs. Champs shut out the Bottle Noses. Look at the Champs coming out. Craniums shut out the Guardians. Nine to nothing. And Lucky Bricks. They're mad about that last one. They come back with their game of their own 8 to 2 the grays and the bards bards win this one 2 to 1 so looking at the standings the water bullets a three and a half game lead over the bottlenoses so that race is still in effect i think let's see they played 44 games bottlenoses have played 45 so no i believe the bottom water bullets have won their division Guardians have a one game lead over the spots. A game and a half over the Bolters. Three and a half over the Favorites. Favorites. Well, there's three games left, so they're out of it. So the Guardians, Spots, and Bolters are still in the hunt there. The Philosophers, seven game lead over the Riddles. They've won their division. Over here in the Butcher Bumps, the Advocates and Bandits are two and a half between each other, so those two are still fighting it out. Gobblers are out of it. Ambush Division, Lucky Breaks have a four and a half game lead. And that, yeah, they've secured their division. And looking at the Neon, they have a four-game lead with three games left to play. So the Neon have, in fact, won their division. So still a few races left, but a couple of them have been secured now. And let's get to the summary. We've got a couple of things. We've got a bunch of moves. All free agent stuff. Let's see. Bolters, they signed Kenneth Norman. He kicked out Maurice Radical. So they dropped an A-. minus. Picked up a C. I still don't understand these moves. That's a starting pitcher. A pretty good starter, too. Really good accuracy. Oh. Velocity and junk are good. Yeah. He was paying him 12 million. He's going to want to probably double that now. Theodore Gordon signed by the Lucky Breaks, and they kicked out Tim Dantos. Dantos, Dantos. So they dropped a C, plus, picked up a B. As they try to win their division still. And they take that back. They've already won their division. So never mind. They're gearing up for the playoff run. Furtive Waller was signed by the Lucky Breaks as well. So they made two back-to-back -back moves. Fern Campos is gone. They've picked up an A- player also. So they dropped a C-plus. Picked up an A-. So yeah, they're gearing up for the playoff win now. 
They won the division. They picked up an A minus and a B place and a, a B ranked player. Freedom. They signed Dylan Rowe and dropped Leonardo Cherry. So they dropped a B, picked up a C. I don't understand that starter decision. Whatever. Carson Hazard signed by the Boulders. Getty Vargas was dropped, so they dropped a B and picked up a C. Water Bullets, they made a move. They kicked out Elizabeth Higharch and signed Jordan Deep. Jordan Deep was one of the players we were looking at as well. Ten million. Hmm. So that's another one off our list, because that was one of them we were looking at signing. Oh, got a player opportunity. Training for Declan Overly. Arm goes down, power and fielding go up, and a chance for more fielding. I think we're going to pass on that. We'll see. It depends what their fielding is. And Waterbolts made another move. Arrest Forrest is gone, and Stetson Wiggins is coming in. So they picked up a B, dropped a C+. Plus. So a lot of moves. Let's look at the free agent market. Still some people in here. Who's that starter I was looking at? Yeah, you. I, I was right. They won about double what they were asking for originally. So there's a lot of pitchers left. We got a shortstop. That's a really good shortstop. Not the best fielder, but still, that's a really good shortstop. Center fielder would like to have another outfielder, too. They could play first and center. We don't need another center fielder, though. Unless Sloan can cover another position. Where is Sloan? Here he is. He can cover first, also. Hmm. But so can this guy. We got some bees. Let me see. Um, what am I looking at? Where's ribeye at? Ribeye, ribeye. Well, shipwrecks at B minus. Where is ribeye? I'm just not seeing you. Ribeye, ribeye. Where are you? There you are. You're a C plus. You play second only. Is there anybody that could play just second? None of these people can play second. Well, you can. You're not that much better, though. I think we'll pass on you. All right, let me organize that by grade. So we got some C's down here. No, we're about to see. He's still not. Yeah. 37 contact, 70 power. What was this one again? Yeah, we'll stick with what we got. Whoop, go back. And what was the other one? Roach, is there a backup catcher available? There is. Cooper, you're not that great. And Medina? Hmm. We got Booth. And yeah, Roach, he's 36. Might have a replacement for you. 40, 50, 30, 70, 40. We got a couple catchers. But I like to have a better arm than that. You got good contact, good power. Slow as all get out. Good arm. And good contact, good power. Good fielder. Arm. 69. What was Roach's arm? I think it's better than Roach's, too. It is. So that could be our new catcher, even though he wants a lot of money. 14 million is a little out of our price range. We got the money, but we want somebody better if we're going to be spending that much money. All right, let's get to the what was it? development. Where was that one we were just looking at? Who's this for? This is offside. She's 25. You know what? I think I'm going to spend something on this one. Especially if I can get her contact up. Now we're going to take this one. She gets plus two contact. If she can get this plus five, that'd be great. Nope. Chance for a trait. She got the trait, though. Nice. Can't remember exactly what that does, but hey, we'll take it. So she's a little bit better than she was. We might actually hang on to her. We don't know yet. We'll see. 
uh, escargo not worry about that one port matthews don't need more accuracy overlay this is the one we're looking at your arm goes down one so that'll drop to 59 your fielding that'll go up that just helps the power goes up one more that helps too and you got a chance for more fielding the negative one arm really won't hurt that badly i don't think but He's 25. We'll take it. More fielding, more power. That drops. If we can get this extra fielding, that'd be great too, but didn't get it. But he has a better fielder now, so there's a plus for that. And we've got some more training, fielding, and contact. This is for Ricci. More contact. He needs more power. Contact's good too. I've got the money chance he could lose that third base position that could hurt us but it's only a five percent chance we'll take it so building up contact up chance for more filling he got it don't need this to hit avoided that all right so we got more fielding so he's a better player now and the closer you're not worried about all right so that'll do it for this one next game up we're at home we're taking on the elephants but we're now the division leaders well division winners so we could lose the rest of the games now the rest of the season doesn't matter we've made the playoffs so people could get rested up next time around we don't know well, i love Drummond. she's going for a seventh win so i don't want to rest up too much if we can give her seven wins that'd be great but we'll see what happens like i said elephants coming into town they're 23 and 21 the honor 30 and 14 and division champs so yeah should be a good game hopefully no matter what happens it doesn't matter they're going to the playoffs so we'll see you then